Hi, I'm Jason, and today I'm going to be showing you my interpretation of a good flame in Unity 3. Now, here are the two flames that, two fires that come with um, Unity in the standard assets. It's under particles, and they're okay, I guess, but I like the one I made a little better because it looks like it looks. It's like it'd be better for like a spot fire or something. And let's just. I'll show you how to make one. Go game object, create other particle um, system. Now, if a couple things you'll notice is one, it's a bit, it's a it's big sphere. Two, the little crappy white dots, and it's not really moving anywhere. So let's fix that. First, we'll change. Or well, I'll work my way down. Um, under ellipsoid particle emitter, we'll change min size. 0.3 and max size to 0 0.8 and what that does is it makes the particles between 0 0.3 and 0 0.8 so it's any it's any size between those two and it's and it just adds size to the particles now energy energy in particles is how long they live for if I change these both to 10 they don't they're not dying out after a while they just build up so we'll change this to 0 0.5 and 3 then, under world velocity, fire moves up, and under, the difference between world velocity and local velocity is if I rotate at 90 degrees, it'll always go up, and if I did it in local velocity, if I rotate at 90 degrees, it would then go along the horizon instead of going vertically. So, we'll change this to 1.5, and see, now we have starting to look more a bit, a bit more like fire. Now, fire is random, so we'll add R&D velocity, which means random velocity. And then, so that's the basic shape of the fire now. And then let's make it look like fire. Under the particle animator, you have color animation 0 to 4. So now, I'm going to change the colors of 0, 3, and 4 to black of number 1 to gray and number two to a brown. Now, if I have a look at it, it doesn't look very nice, but we're about to fix that. On the particle renderer, if materials isn't open, open it and change size to one if it isn't already one. Now, I have the standard assets already in my in my project folder, you, ne you need that to be able to get the um, material. So under element 0, change it from default particle to fire add. And what that does is it makes it look like fire. Now if I play my game, we have the one we just created. Now you'll notice this is a bit chunky compared to this one. That's because it's, it's all these things are very tweakable. Now, if I look at this one, this is the one we had before. They've got basically the same stuff. If we look at this one, it's pretty much the same, but there's a few differences. Like, these colors will be different, and some of the sizes are probably different. So, yeah. Oh, oh this is supposed to be... Oh, I skipped something. Ellipsoid. The ellipsoid size is how big it is. See, now that's better. See, now it's like tighter. And if I play it, it looks much better. Now, we'll rename this fire. And, well, with the other fire, it has it's, it's emitting light. That's because I added a um, point light to it. So we'll add point light. Now they should be in the same spot, roughly. Yeah, they're in the same spot. Can't be bothered fixing it up. Anyway, um... Whoops, shouldn't have that. Um... Make it an orange colour so it matches the fire. And make the point light the child of the fire by dragging onto it so it becomes... like this. And then... Now, now you have fire. But if you want to reuse that over and over again, you go create prefab. 
Boom. Ah. And then we'll drag this onto this. And now when this box goes blue, if I drag it on, we have another flame. Easy done.